All right, guys, just wanted to give you a quick heads up here on this video. Um, I got some other footage to shot while I was at the bowing yard taking these out. But these injectors came out of a uh, 2000 Chevy Suburban with, a, I believe, a 5.3 liter. Um, either way, it's like the 5.3, the 6.0, and the 4.8. Uh, these will have the blue rings at the top and the bottom. These are the short style, the non-flex fuel one. Uh, according to Hunter Tune, these things will flow about 800 cc and they're very dependable. I did already decap them and now, uh, I'll be doing a video where I showed... Oh, focus, there you go, where I decapped them. You can kind of see where I took off the edges. Let's see if I can get that to focus a little bit. There you go. So nice, real clean. What I did is I just threw my angle grinder right here. My actual angle grinder up in the bench. I'll show you guys. You got a video coming to that, but I just want to do a quick video on this. Because I was asking Hunter, there's a factory 240cc D16Y8 injector, and here's the GM one. And I was asking, I said, hey man, this thing doesn't look like it's going to fit in there too well. And on the Y series, they got this stud here with a 14 mil bolt down there and a 10 mil at the top. I said, oh man, that kind of sucks. I have to remove that stud. So I was talking to Hunter. And what I'm going to do is, he was saying even on uh, Christian's PVC Civic that they worked on, uh, you just drill this hole back here where the 10 mil goes into, open that up a little while, do a full a full bolt in there, and then just use a, a nut right here to kind of bring it all the way down and do a nut in the top and the bottom to hold the rail there. And uh, obviously screw into the intake manifold down here as well. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And uh show you when I'm all done with that on a new video. But what I really want to show you here is, is if you don't have a way to flow these um, or check them for anything this is basically what I'm doing and you should at least be doing this it's super simple super easy I took this off of the fuel rail now this isn't the exact hose I'm using I'm using one off of one of my F23 but this is just a little hose and it fits perfectly right over the, uh, the injector head right there right and so basically what I'm doing is and it's not going to come off I put electrical tape on right here. Boy, this would just... There we go. Okay. I put electrical tape on here, and then I put this clamp over the electrical tape over the hose so it holds it nice and tight. So what that's going to do is pressurize the line, open it up. Right here, you notice I got the battery. Uh, if you do grab these, make sure you just cut these damn wires right off from the harness. As far up on the harness as you can get, because you will need these. So... Um, that's a tip of advice if you're going to get these. Now, I got 12 of these. I already got four done. These are the four that are going to go in a Civic. But I got 12 of these. I, I basically got it um, four out of one Suburban and then eight out of another. Figured, you know, I kept seeing online these guys are saying, oh, they get so many of them that turn out like shit or don't work. Uh, these work to the best of my ability to figure that out. Uh, the spray pattern looked all right. About as good as you're going to get from this type of nozzle out there but um i think get this stupid thing to focus a little bit we'll be doing all right there you go but here's how i'm gonna flow them and then test it see if they're they're open and closing let me go ahead and stick that on there see if i can do this with um uh, let me give it a little pressurization okay Open and closing pretty good. It's got a pretty goofy. Uh, this one's got a pretty goofy. Uh, yeah, this one's not shooting right. That's weird. Was, luckily, these four actually shot really good, but this one is not. I mean, it still would probably be good to send it. You know, I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to send it because I got 12 to you know, work from and the first four I did shot straight and shot open and closed real nice so but yeah you can hear when you put this on here that's it open and closing really fast let's go ahead and pressurize it and go so yeah that one's still good I don't know why it's uh, sticking in there or it's got a goofy spray pattern but it'd probably work just fine but there you go hopefully that helps you guys um 
Oh, did I do the ohm test on here? Yeah, let me do the ohm test on here real quick. I was going to do that. These should ohm out at about 12. Oh, but hold on. I'm shooting a video. See right here. Right there. All within like 0.1 or 0.2 uh, difference. I've, I've gotten, yeah, so I've gotten from 12 old to 12 2 for all 12 of these injectors. So, and ironically, these ones all came up 11 6 to 11 8. So, they're within range though. That's certainly good enough. So, hope that helps out. These are the decapped GM short style non flex fuel injectors out of the early 2000s V8 Chevy vehicles that you can get again for 20 bucks. Do the thing, or if you want, you can get them from Hunter Tuned, already flowed, already decapped. And I, I tell you what, even at that, even at the price he's charging, or uh, far superior to anything else you're going to get for that money, you know, as far as you got to remember, you guys, these are uh, OEM injectors, you know what I mean? These aren't cheap eBay knockoffs or nothing like that. These are actually ones. The only thing is, is you're getting used injectors, but, you know, like any other vehicle, injectors don't go out too often, and they're they're pretty robust, especially these GM ones. So, hope that helps you guys. Uh, if you got any questions, put them down in the doodly-doo, and we'll check you later.